solve a linear equation using the TI-83 series of calculators. Solve the given equation for x. 7x plus 12 is equal to 5x minus 2. Here's the analytic solution. Upon solving the equation, we should proceed to put the variables on the left-hand side. We're going to put the constants on the right-hand side. So in order to put the variables on the left-hand side, we should subtract 5x from both sides. Once we simplify, we see that the resulting equation is 2x plus 12 is equal to negative 2. We should then proceed to put all the constants on the right-hand side. So we're going to use the addition property of equality and subtract 12 from both sides. Once we simplify, our new equation is 2x is equal to 14. Once all variables are on one side and all constants are on the other, now we should isolate for our variable x. So the opposite of multiplying x by 2 is to divide both sides by 2. Once we simplify, we see that x is equal to negative 7. We should now check our solution. So we're going to take our original equation and we're going to substitute x for negative 7. Upon doing so, we see that both sides are equal to negative 37, which is the same value. So our value for x, which is negative 7, is a solution. Let's take a look at the calculator solution. And in this particular example, we'll use the graph method. So we should enter the y equals, and in y sub 1, we're going to enter the left-hand side of our equation, which is 7x plus 12. For y sub 2, we're going to enter the right-hand side of our equation, which is 5x minus 2. Next, we'll use calculate, and it's a yellow function, so we'll use second and trace, which is calculate. Next, we'll use the fifth option, which is intersect. The calculator will now graph. It asks for a first curve, we should hit enter. It asks for a second curve, we should hit enter again. It asks for a guess, we should hit enter for a third time. And we get the point of intersection of the two lines at the coordinates negative 7 and negative 37. The solution is the x-coordinate of the intersection. Therefore, the solution is negative 7. Just as in checking with the analytic solution, we should also check with the calculator solution. So here we'll use the test method. When you're using the test method, if the calculator returns a 1, that means true. If the calculator returns a 0, that means false. So I'll simply go back to the home screen. I'm going to use the quit, which is a yellow function, second and mode. We're going to store negative 7 for x. We're then going to enter our equation. And we're going to use the equality to test. For example, 9 is equal to 9 is a true statement. The calculator returns 1. However, if I put in something false, 9 is greater than 14, the calculator returns a 0 for false. So here we're going to enter negative 7, and we're going to store that for x. 
we're going to then enter a colon, which is above our decimal point, and it's green, so it's an alpha function. We're then going to enter 7x plus 12 is equal to, and we're going to check our equality, a 1 returns true, a 0 returns false, is equal to 5x minus 2. So we enter our value negative 7. We're going to store that for x. My colon is above my decimal point, and it's green, so it's alpha decimal point. 7x plus 12 is equal to 5x minus 2. And we see that the calculator returns a 1 for true. Therefore, x equal to negative 7 is a solution. Here we'll take a look at the graph slash test method. For this particular method, we'll go back to the y equals. And I'll simply clear out our equations. We'll enter our equation, 7x plus 12 is equal to 5x minus 2. Next, I'll use the table. And here again, table is a yellow function, and it's above graph, so I'll use second and graph. So if you remember from the test method, 0 is false and 1 is true. So for this particular method, we want to look for the x value that has a y value of 1. And just recall from the test method that 1 return is true. Therefore, negative 7 is a solution.